Hi everybody and welcome to my channel Baggy Cat Photography. Today we're going to be looking at how I've created this image based on a Red Riding Hood shoot I've done recently. First thing I'm going to do is adjust the brightness. I'm taking it all the way down and then bringing the levels of the face back up. I've done this by using the brush tool on a black colour. Focus in here on the whites of the eyes just to bring up the colour. I'm now going to patch the face to get some of the blemishes out. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. It kind of depends. I'm going all out today. Now I'm gonna use the brush tool to paint on some of the color of the face. This will help to get rid of the blemishes in general. Now it's gonna look really harsh at first, but I'm just gonna do it and then I'm gonna blend it down using by adjusting the opacity. And that will give me nice, a nice coverage on the skin. Helps to even out the skin tone a lot as well. Now I'm just doing some burning and dodging to add some contour in and nice shape to the face. Don't worry if you take it too dark, because again, you can just adjust the opacity when blending down. Now I'm just going in and sharpening the eyes up. It's something I always do, just because I like them to be really piercing. The next thing I'm going to do is change the color of the eyes, oh, of the lips. I've done this just by creating a new layer and using the brush tool. Again, it's going to look a bit rubbish until you change how it's blended down. It's useful to remember that the colour you paint is not going to be the exact colour that it ends up looking. So if you change it to overlay or soft light, it's really up to you which one looks the best. Now I'm going to change the colour of the eyes by using the exact same technique. I have to be more careful with the eyes because of the eyelid. Now going into the camera raw filter to just adjust some of the settings. One thing that's not ideal with this image is that it's got a massive spot that's completely overexposed because of the sky. So it hasn't, it doesn't look ideal. just using a layer mask. Just bring back some of the colour. 
what I've done is put another copy under the image before I went into the camera raw filter. So I can bring back some of the same colours as before. My favourite colour to use is purple, I don't know why, it just it gives me the right feeling to an image and I'm taking it off the skin a little bit using the brush tool in black. I've adjusted the white balance here to take away some of the warm glow that would have come from the sun. I want it to look more nighttime than daytime, which is why the overexposed area of the sky is so annoying. So what I'm just going to do now is put an overlay onto the image just to add a little bit more atmosphere and then that will be me done. And there we go, there's the final image. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.